Buddhism appears to be saturated with a spirit of free inquiry and complete tolerance. It is the teaching of the open mind and the sympathetic heart which, lighting and warming the whole universe with its rays of forgiveness, loving kindness, and compassion, it sheds its genial glow on every being struggling in the ocean of birth and death and suffering. So compassionate and tolerant was the Buddha that he did not exercise his power to give commandments to any of his lay followers. Instead of using the imperative position of thou shalt or thou shalt not do this or that, he says continuously, it behooves you to do this. It behooves you not to do that. It is beneficial for you to do this. It is not beneficial for you to do that. He advises us based on his own testing. During his search for his answer to suffering, the ordinary precepts which buddhists are expected to observe are therefore not commandments but they are modes of discipline sikhapada which they take of their own accord it is not necessary to only be at the temple with monks and nuns to take your precepts. Indeed, the precepts should be repeated before bed at night and in the morning if one wants support in life to keep them all the time. We should test everything the Buddha has taught us. Try doing this for a week. See how life goes. Sadu, sadu, sadu.